Hey guys, it's the Mark Guardian. I got an alert for you guys. Oregon Fire Oregon Firearm Federation uh, put out an alert for us in Oregon. There is a current bill that has been processed by Senator Guinea Burdick of District 18. She put a bill in that would ban any magazine that holds over 10 rounds. Basically, you can no longer buy or sell your over 10 round magazines. Yeah. What a bitch. So, what I'm going to do right now is going to give you her email address and the phone number that she supplied it, which I think is just a Skype phone number. It will be in the description. It will give. I'll give you her name, her district, and all that kind of crap. All you Oregonians, true Oregonians, that still are fighting for liberty in your state that has been almost taken over by these goddamn socialist and collectivist people from certain states that are mass quantity to come up here and change what we had I mean now look at it we pretty much lost our property rights we cannot even collect rainwater we can't even do anything with our land they're infringing on our liberties over and over now since we lost the house which was holding our gun rights for the longest time is now controlled by the majority of the Democrats. I don't know how many Democrats there are in there that are kind of pro-gun. Hopefully there's still some that's willing to work with the pro-gun Republicans. Generally most of the Republicans are always pro-gun in, in Oregon so that's for you guys. I know some people say not all Republicans are pro-gun. Yes, I know that. We already checked the House of U.S. And McCain's definitely not a fucking pro-gun dude. Besides that point, her name is Guinea Burdick. So, please express your opinion to her. Give her the mind of the true Oregonians that still live in Oregon. That are tired of losing our rights after one after another. We're done if this continues it's, it's just gonna it's gonna go boom I don't know what you are going are going to do I know you guys talk about we need to uh, secede from the state of Oregon to make the state of Jefferson it's a great idea but from what I have seen most of the Oregonians the true Oregonians are actually leaving the state and it's sad because it, from what seems like our state is being overly controlled by other people from other states that wants to give their opinion and force it and take what we had I mean this state was nice it was great it's a little racist though it was stupid though but besides that there was very little loss we can actually drive cars without seatbelts in we don't have to wear helmets anymore sacco uh, we were able to build fences and change our toilet without permits yeah that's right you gotta change to change the toilet, you must get a permit. About a thousand dollar piece of crap paper that you wipe with your ass. <laughs> Bullshit. Besides that, um, so it's not looking really good right now in Oregon, especially what's happening lately in the shootings in Clackamas County in Oregon. Yeah. And over in Connecticut, fuck, that's just sad. And they're blaming an object called the firearm for the problem. They're blaming the AR-15. Now they're getting to the AR-15. Oh my gosh! The AR-15 is very much reason why we're losing our right to keep the bare arms. We must take that away. No! You dumbasses! You don't see people fucking blaming the planes that hit the two towers. You, you blame the fucking terrorists. You blame the individual that did it, not the object. You don't see people blaming cars for the amount of deaths they've given. I mean, literally, if you look at the rate, there's like, I think, I think it's like five times 
more deaths with cars than a farm, and generally the farm deaths are generally m mixed with self-protection and aggression people, you, you can't really tell. They don't really give a very much good idea um, what the deaths and firearms was good people to use them for. So you probably never know. You just look at the gun deaths. Of course, look at the gun deaths. Gun deaths just explains how aggressive people are. No, no, you dumbass. You look at the two subjects. There's going to be self-defense and there's going to be you know, the ones that use the firearms for criminal act criminal activity. And there's still more deaths without firearms. I mean, look at China right over there. You know, some guy with a knife. Just a knife. And this is sad. He went in there and killed, uh, killed like 27 kids in kindergarten. Cut their throats. And the security guard. And a teacher. How the fuck? Why don't you guys start arming your teachers? I mean, there's some count. There, there's actually a representative in Oregon thinks that we should arm our teachers. We should arm our teachers to work with law enforcement. Why don't we do that? Why don't we get the teachers to be armed? And from what I heard, Metro Police Department totally seems to be against it. Yeah, like I said, I don't believe in Metro Police. They're not really that great people. If they don't see the necessary need to arm the teachers, they can at least do a simple procedure like arm teachers. Get the uh, law enforcement to work with teachers. When you put so many kids in a little freaking box and you have no armed teacher in there making sure the, you know, the freaking door doesn't get hit down, you have to suspect that, that teacher, all the kids in there are going to die. Don't you want the don't you want your teacher to be have a fighting chance? Arm the teachers, have them in that little square box if you want, fine, whatever, and just at least the teachers armed enough to know if someone hits the goddamn door, you're gonna open fire. I, I mean, an officer's not gonna go like, break down the door. No, they go like, law enforcement, everyone all right in there? Obviously, I mean, I'm, if, I know more law. I know all law enforcement are going to probably do that in a, in a school building. You're not going to go like, break down the door. Oh, point our guns at all the little kids to make sure they're not armed or killers. Blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. Stupid fucks. Stupid fucks. Anyways. So, contact this senator. Give her your opinion. Tell her that we are going and are done with this shit. Have a good night, guys.